Hey everyone, I'm Big John and welcome to another episode of the Diz Ability Show. Now this week I want to talk to you about some spring break tips. We are in the midst of spring break season and when you're at Disney, it the spring break crowds are, to be quite honest, they are almost as bad as the Christmas crowds. And if you have seen the Christmas crowds, you know what I'm talking about. One thing you can do is so what we always like, what we say, like it when we do our rope drop tips, is let the big crowds do the more popular rides, and you can start your day doing the less popular rides, then get a pass for the big boys later. Or you can wait and chillax at your hotel and let the early morning crowds do what they do. And then, come afternoon, go to the park. It always helps to have a plan so you can avoid the spring break crowds as much as possible. So anyway, that's my tip. As always, if you have any questions on how to do Disney for people with disabilities, let me know in the comments and I'll make sure it gets to a future episode. And now it's time for this week's Top 5. So, the sun has gone down and you're not quite ready to go to bed yet. Well, this week, we're going to talk about my top five things to do at night. Number five, the hoop de doo review at Fort Wilderness. Now, this I used to not be a fan of this show because when I was a kid, we were in the front row and I cried the whole time. And, and that was when we found out that I had some here some sensory issues and I think this was before I was even diagnosed with autism but I I'm a fan of it now because we know the trick to uh to watch the action from upstairs as you have seen in a couple of my past videos and one that is coming up very soon and it, it's a great show great performers some of the best performers on property I may add Number four, spend an evening at Disney Springs. We always say here on the channel, when you're at Disney, take a day or at least an afternoon to hang out around Disney Springs and do some shopping and, and have a great dining experience as well. Of course, there's the World of Disney, Days of Christmas, Ron John, co-op and all the great shops as well as some of the best restaurants at walt disney world raglan road irish pub which yesterday i'm sure was packed um of course there's also um terralina and as well as some other great places to eat while you're at disney springs it's one of the best places to be at night and and some great entertainment as well. Sometimes the 80s cover band M80s performs there. I've yet to see them in person. Who knows? Maybe in the coming in coming trips. Uh, let's see. Number three, do some of the outdoor rides at night. Because when the sun has gone down, some of the rides have feel like different animals you've seen some of our uh, previous uh you've seen some of our past uh, jungle cruise at night videos it looks completely different than it does during the day um we've rode the mine train at night it, it felt completely different um it so when you're at disney at night do some of the outdoor attractions because they feel a little different. Number two, explore the hotels. You can explore either the hotel you're staying at or you can go resort hopping on the monorail or Skyliner and see what happens there at night. Like the boardwalk has some um, entertainment, um, Many of the resorts have uh, do s'mores. Some do uh, ooh, movies under the stars. Uh, Fort Wilderness has their uh, campfire sing-alongs. And 
They do a lot for their guests at night, all the hotels. And my number one thing to do at night, watch the fireworks. The, I mean, the fireworks are just beautiful. And I I have enjoyed Enchantment, but I, I cannot wait for Happily Ever After to come back. This is the one of the best shows because of the song. Because of the scene with Merida. And most importantly, because of the scene with Mufasa and Go the Distance. Two things that have been put together perfectly to make it, to make your hair just stand right up. So anyway, let me know in the comments what your favorite thing to do at Disney at night is. And now it is time to get into the semifinals of our March Madness tournament. Now, I have to say... For the past couple years that we've been doing this tournament, this is the very first time that that the semifinalists are all from the same park. And in this case, all the semifinalists are Hollywood Studios rides. So, the first of our two matchups is Star Wars Rise of the Resistance versus Slinky Dog Dash. Now, on one hand, you're escaping a First Order Star Destroyer in a major battle between the First Order and the Resistance. And on the other side, you're you're speeding your way through Andy's backyard riding on Slinky. And the other matchup we have is the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror versus Toy Story Mania. So on one side... You've got, you're riding a crazy elevator that's making its way into the Twilight Zone. And on the other side, you have an amazing 4D experience where my mom and I always beat my dad. He doesn't want to admit it, but it happens. So, I, so as I have been saying, it, you can vote in the comments, or if you're a member of my Disney Vlog Squad group on Facebook, you can vote there as well. I should let you know that Rise of the Resistance is the reigning champion of last year's March Madness. And I have seen the current polls, and I think if, if things work in its favor, it might come a second year in a row. The votes do end this coming Thursday. And remember, if there is ever a tie, I am the tiebreaker. So anyway, that's our show. As I said, if you have any questions on how to do Disney for people with disabilities, let me know in the comments. I'll make sure it gets to a future episode. For this week's shout-outs, make sure you guys check out the Diz Nerdy Network. They are officially relaunching on April 3rd. I was a, a guest on one of their on their Disney Underground show before they went on hiatus. So I'm glad that they're making a comeback. Also, make sure you guys check out Nick over at Magical News Live. He does great live streams from the parks. Make sure you check him out. Also, make sure you guys check out Matt and Goo over at goo to You. They also do amazing live streams and vlogs from the parks. If you are looking for a great Disney travel agent, we highly recommend Kim Colian. That's K-O-L-E-A-N with Once Upon a Vacation Travel. She does... She is a mom of, she is an autism mom, so she definitely, she can definitely specialize with people, guests with disabilities. So definitely check out her Facebook page for more information. For the latest Disney news and gossip, make sure you guys check out WDW Magazine. If you've not subscribed here yet to the Big John Network, what in the Walt Disney World are you waiting for? And ding the bell for notifications so you never miss a second of the fun. And until next time, may the mouse be with you. Thank you.